Welcome everyone, it is good to be back and we're here with Captain of Industry. Thanks for joining me again for another episode of this fantastic, amazing production management simulation. And do we, do we have a lot to do? Well we do, well we finish with what you're seeing right now. The arc furnaces with uh, the silicon uh, poly makers and then going over to our labs here to produce, well not labs, they're assemblies aren't they? to produce our electronics and that's what we did last time which feed in and give us our maintenance etc to uh, take care of the more advanced structures that we're building so these arc furnaces here obviously we have a power problem and that's why we're here as well because to get or move these across to arc furnaces too and to move across all our blast furnaces across to arc furnaces too we need a hell of a lot of power so if you go over across to arc furnaces too they need two megawatts of power now that is huge when it comes to pretty much anything blast furnaces by themselves one and two need no power uh, but uh, pretty much arc furnaces need one megawatt and we're going to need um, two megawatts for these bad boys. Uh, so that's what we're going to be needing to do because they're going to be upgrading uh, over to these which require less coal because we don't want to use as much coal. We want to phase coal out. We're not going to completely phase coal out because we're making the graphite with coal. But you don't need much graphite to produce with arc furnaces. So that's what these ones are and we can't switch any of these rubber makers on because they're also 100 kilowatts and we're not requiring it at the moment other than for these two arc furnaces ones we need graphite only 1.5 so we actually don't need too much uh, and we have got it on the 60 so we need to do nuclear so we move over to this little section this sort of was planned early on to become our nuclear uh, plant area so what I've done pre or between episodes is get everything ready to place so it should be pretty straightforward to get this plant operational we have basically going to utilize and we're going to continue to expand so we're going to keep this corridor open for cart for the trucks coming to dump dirt because as you can see we're going to expand and expand and expand so we'll probably place our first plant in this area uh, and the power producing or steam turbines around here. That's going to allow us to produce a hell of a lot of power. So if we go over to our power section and we go nuclear, uh, there you go. So this plant can be set up to effectively provide up to 12 megawatts. So that's 12 huge megawatts of electricity when running at full power. Beware the spent fuel is radioactive and can harm the population if not stored in a specialized facility. There's a lot to be added uh, as they approach early access and there is a hell of a lot of cool things coming in early access, especially around farming um, and different mechanics which are changing. We all know about the issues I had with the uh, ships that they run through the land and all that. I've also expanded to another oil over here, but that's also fixed in early access and you can actually select on what path they come out or they give you four or five choices so that's pretty cool but there's a hell of a lot to come and you will notice I think there's somewhere in uh, where are we over here no active diseases so they're still to come as well there's a hell of a lot storage uh, units are going to be bigger you'll be able to have much bigger storage uh, capacity and uh, splitters and so forth are going to be a bit more advanced and easier to use and a whole whole lot more oh bigger trucks and bigger uh, excavators so there's so much to come it's basically going to be like a new game so I'm so so looking forward to that but as we approach so the last few things we're going to do is produce the nuclear plant and then we're going to go over and not in this episode but then on the next episode we'll go over and slowly produce our blast furnaces too sorry our arc furnace too which will replace all the blast furnaces so without further ado let's get started 
and we've already got some uranium rods ready to go so that helps us out and we've got plenty of unity so we're going to do and produce that oh and our spent fuel rods we've already got it ready over here so spent fuel rods will go into those functionality at the moment we don't really have the power to switch a lot of these on these need 30 kilowatts of power but we don't have the power so as soon as this becomes active we will have to utilize its power so let's go let's get into a nuclear i don't know exactly how i'm going to sort this out so we may have to relay it a few times until we get it right so straight into nuclear power so here we go so i'm guessing let's just play six we can remove it and we're going to have a look at all the inputs so i'm guessing they look like yeah so that's going to be some sort of containers for the water so we need to get water in here which i'm sure we've got water somewhere around here there we go we've got water that water and then we need to bring in the uranium rods which i'm guessing will go through the entrances here and that would be the steam output which should be here oh no sorry that would come out of there steam output would come out so what is that oh and the output here is obviously of the spent fuel which we can throw straight on a conveyor already prepared straight to the storage facilities so i'm guessing water in water in water in okay so these would obviously cool it down so water in to cool down the uranium rods that's in this function but then the water in here to produce steam i'm guessing it's all going to be high steam coming out here now if we place this plant it does 96 at the moment in beta we could got pipes up to 200. we do know that in the future episodes that will be expanded uh somewhere up at the end so all these i'm pretty much everything is uh research now here we go pipes three uh but we can't do that until we research data centers uh which we can't do coming soon so there's a lot there but let's get into this so we've got to work out where we won't place this here we're just going to have a look do we i want to keep this for expansion for nuclear rods at a later stage so we probably need to add another assembly plant but we could put our assembly plants up here we've got plenty of expansion for settling tanks which produces yellow cake uh and we've got plenty of expansion for crushes so we've got pretty much all the expansion there so we could technically put this in this way Now, what are you? Not sure what, why I did that, but that's okay. We don't need that. We'll get rid of it. So, do we put the plant here to save space? We could put one here, two there, and potentially three. I'm guessing, let's just have a quick look again. We'll just place, oh, ground is not flat enough. Why not? It'd be pretty flat to me. Oh, just there. There's not a... Looks like it's a bit high. That's okay. All right. Uh, so that's just that place. So that's okay. So it looks like they're going to be just here. And that gives us still plenty of place. So let's do that. Let's, there's a... Just down here. And what I'm hoping... water all right so let's just have a quick look here because we're gonna have to bring those in there water here so we've got water there and the spent uranium spent fuel can we produce and get that over the top I was hoping this would go over the top but it doesn't look like it okay it would have to go around to get those rods back all right 
because if we copy this, we'd probably want another one, another one, and another one there. And then we're going to use all this section for our turbines. Let's have a look and mock this up and see how it would work. Hoping I've got enough to produce. I should have, yeah, 700 and 300 electronics. How many electronics do I have currently? That plenty, plenty of electronics. Okay, so let's cook that in. So if we're going to want to expand this, probably the best thing to do is to produce as close as we can we're going to have the expansion or the disposal of all right so we can't hook into there that's okay we want the water to come out as well so just put that in there for now we're going to bring the water down one and put the water across here. Okay, we also will need to bring the uranium rods. So we'll put those down, not on the ground, put those down here. Because this will bring them to future plants. I'm always thinking ahead now from when I played this uh, earlier where I wasn't thinking too much ahead. I don't need many uranium rods as you can see only one so I don't know why I built that as I probably just delete that and build those as just the conveyor one. Okay so we can delete you We'll speed you, quick remove you for a moment. It's doing a nice save. Now that is going to be, well, that's our slurry. Is it our slurry? No, that's water. No, hydrogen. What about our slurry? That's coming from, ah. Okay, cool. As you can see, we've got power problems. Lucky we've got a bit of uh, yellow cake ready to rock. All right, so we can actually just now see if we can get all this sorted. So small conveyor, first of all. That's at medium height, isn't it? It will come out at medium height. And you should go straight into you. You can then come through for you. Done. Now, it requires 96 water, so it really means we're only going to be able to power two units. That's right, two units. Uh, of yeah two nuclear reactors yep yep sorry 96 because there's 200 so in each pipeline water pretty straightforward we're going to keep you nice and high and we want you to go right to the end and at the moment you will just stay about yeah and now our nuclear waste will then pop up to, hopefully, why aren't you no, that's it, we got it. No, go on top. Okay. So let's build that.
quickly. We will quick deliver all of these. What I would actually prefer to do, let's just, that's gone over. I've just quickly delivered that. I'm now going to waste and quickly remove it. Okay, so we need water in all of these uh, inputs. keep these low so if I put you through here that's it get rid of you all right done let's uh, again quick deliver all of these And then we have a look while that's a building on what is going to happen with our turbines. So we have a quick look. We basically can do two turbines. So they're 96 kilowatts, 96 steam high. These need 48, so that will produce 2 megawatts, 4 megawatts out of 1, and that's still at that's full capacity. Then it will be able to produce another two with you so that's six megawatts off one plant but this plant can be set up to effectively provide up to 12 meg megawatts of electricity when running on full power Befe beware the spent fuel okay so somehow we can double that what's oh oh okay so we can actually change the power level there you go. Amount of steam the reactor generates and how fast it burns through the fuel. All that heat generates needs to be used. An extra. Uh, all that heat needs to be used. An extra heat can slowly build up, eventually leading to the reactor overheating. Basic reactors don't have automated power regulation, which makes their heat output fixed. Advanced reactors can utilize computing to regulate their power. Ooh, that's going to be interesting in the early access. Uh, regular power, so reducing fuel and water consumption. Okay, so it looks like we can just set and forget. 
so that's gonna be interesting. So we can actually increase the power it produces. So we'll probably start at one when we do that. So guessing these multiply. So we could probably go to two and we're doing 12. Okay. Cool. Now, where are we gonna put the turbines? So we've got the steam which will pop out of here. Uh, so we want to leave this space for the vehicles. So we're probably going to need to run a steam line. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're going to have steam lines running all over the place. So we're probably going to need a steam line. We're probably only going to need to produce two of these at max in this series because we only really need to get the arc furnaces. We have got a hell of a lot of arc furnaces there. Again, 96 at the moment. So we can use, if we even if we two times that, we're still in capacity of these pipes. So I'm guessing we can connect all of these together. Now, if we get a second plant, just let's try to get a second. We can't model it. Okay, we can rotate, but we can't actually, I wouldn't mind mirroring that so we can have the steam all out the same way but that's fine but again we need separate so let's just run a line straight down here straight down here right up here I wish you could see the arrows. I think they're going to fix that up on the early access as well. Don't know if that's going to work. I don't know the capacity, but if we three times that out, they won't be enough. Because that, hmm, interesting. Let's just for safe purpose wise. Produce you to there. Produce yourself to there. I wouldn't mind that coming down. There. Again, it doesn't matter. Maximum capacity, 200. Okay. That is the pipe system set up. We will then run pretty much as close as we can. Leaving enough for the trucks to go around. Two. And we could actually put in a three, just as long as we can get everything fit in, placed in time. So you know, it probably won't. Temporarily, let's run two, because that's all we can run. I want to be ready for the future though. So let's just throw in another two. Two, two, we'll throw in a flywheel. Now, they can produce 48 steam. They need, and they produce two megawatts of mechanical power. These need three megawatts. So we can basically take, change that. Let's put a flywheel, because that's basically three megawatts, which is three of these. Sorry, two of these, two of these, three megawatts, two, two megawatts, two megawatts, six, so six, six. All right, then we're gonna to have to produce our steam runoff, our light steam. So we're gonna produce only one, aren't we? We're gonna be able to, at the moment, it's only gonna support two. This will be put on pause. Uh, so we will, uh, high steam, low steam. So I was guessing they're going to put out 48. You need 96. Oh, that's a pain. I cannot mirror. Do I put those in that way? run the steam down here that might work so 
So put you here. Put two in, but again, we only need to pause you. And you're only going to produce two megawatts. So do we put... Do we put one of these low pressure in here? Not ready for future expansion though. Okay, we'll leave it at that. And then their water is going to be run off into this water system here. Again, let's just expand, upgrade all of you. Just because. Okay. Then the piping system. Technically, that doesn't need to be hooked up. We're not using it. Um, okay. Also, this allows us to build land here and expand these as well. Still tempted to put this low pressure turbine in here because you're producing 96, run that. And then it's going to put... Yeah, that works. That certainly does work. So you're just going to come straight across into there. You don't need to use that space up a little bit more wiser. Let's just take these away for now we then have water that'll come out so technically what we probably want to do is utilize this water again so we need to now put cooling towers if I can work out where cooling towers are it must be recycle no it's not going to be on water no where are the cooling towers? Okay. Ah, under electricity, of course. Cooling tower here. Uh, so we can put down these cooling towers and they will allow us to produce 240 water of steam depleted. Uh, okay, so. We put you as close we can. We can then run our water. Now we want to, later on we'll end up expanding it. So these can go across for our expansion later. So we'll just use the big piping systems at the moment. But you can pretty much come through. And what? That would be handy. Yep, I need to flip that around. Cooling tower needs to go around the other way. The reason I've done that is because then I can take a pipe across the top of these at that height. Then 
what I want to do here is I want to take priority from this water that we'll be producing. So if I put in a balancer and we can pretty much put those in here. So we're going to take you down into there and take you into there. We're now going to delete you. Fast build. Here we go. Now, I've paused this because I am at risk of uh, not having, let's get enough turbines going. I think I've connected those, yeah. We wanna make sure we have enough to get this thing moving along because we may run low on power very soon. Alrighty, this is looking pretty cool. First nuclear power plant being produced. Probably need to put a few more of these in there, but I just wanted to get it up and running. Woohoo, that's looking cool. Looking good. All right, there's one thing. No, we have connected. Everything is up. So we pretty much... Just waiting for the plant to become active. How close are we? We're very close. Let's leave it here. And while we're there, we'll quickly, quick deliver that pipe in system. We don't need it now, but later. And let's watch our nuclear plant become active. the ship in the background and there it is ah, the uranium rods wonder if that animates for low water and high water we will soon find out I'm sure they will if it's not so we're gonna pause for a minute make sure everything is hooked up before we set this thing along oh, we're gonna set up our splitter so we're gonna take priority from X so we are going to say use Prioritize incoming products from X because it's going to come from over here. That's what we want. And then we've got water there as well. So we are now full of water. We now have a uranium rod. We should have a ton of them. So this requires only one. So obviously if we select this up, I'm guessing that changes. Let's have a look. We are now going to start up our plant and see what happens. See what I've done wrong. I think we've got, we've got steam coming out, guessing all that steam goes through, goes in both our high pressures. They then send out the low pressure into the low pressure turbine, which then sends the water into the, the steam into the cooling tower which puts water back into the system and flows around and then we've got our emergency water backup we then got our excess uranium or spent uranium aha which we haven't hooked up which we can now hook up cool I knew there was something we can delete you all right and then we need to switch on one of you 
once we get power, that is. It's going to be interesting how the spent uranium or the spent nuclear waste will affect everybody uh, or the population. Now, do we have enough workers? Well, I think we do. Yep. All right. They need 80 people in that plant. So we're going to start up our plant. We'll start off with one. Okay, steam is building. Let's going to go into the full view mode. And let's see what happens. Okay, yep, they've gone. More water's gone in. The nuclear rods, the uranium rods went down and steam is being produced. Now I'm guessing when it's hot, these also produce steam. Alright, now we have our active nice. So let's have a look what happens. I'm guessing that means if we've got too much our plant will go haywire. Probably in future episodes we'll probably explode if we uh, lock out. Oh, there's our first spent fuel coming through which we now have the power to switch on you and you okay there it is waste nuclear waste now Good, it's using up that, using up a bit of fuel. So now, if we expend this two, okay, we need two. And now we're producing 192. Nice! Which we don't, we're going to have to put this back because we can't do that. So they can overwork. Oh, 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 oh it is moving. Awesome! Awesome. Oh, and it takes the, ah! Takes the spent rod. Very nice animation. I like it. Let's just watch it again. I think this is pretty tidy. Like, it can pretty much be expanded this way. Uh, obviously, I can just... Now that I know that we can expand, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't even know the steam came out of the uh, cooling tower. That's cool. Um, we can obviously add in another. Now that we can do 196, we can technically add in two more of these. So we can add another two of these in. But we'll just we'll put for now. We'll set up another one across here. Let's do that now. I'm going to pause you for a minute. And just copy you as close as we can get. But we could reverse you guys. Can't reverse you guys. All right. Mm. This will allow us to phase out slowly in the future. We can phase out our plants up here. So that's the goal. So. We now grab you. Trying to see what the best way to do this. Let's go there. Probably get you to come up there. Yep, let's do that.
Okay, so then these will again And that is that. Now this water output would have to go up high and across. Perfect. Or steam output. Okay. That's another plant ready to go. So let's uh, speed ahead with all of this. As long as we've got enough of all the equipment. Been waiting for one of the get this end game in the current beta completed. We're going to now push you up to two. Now we're only producing, I think, one. No, we produce three. <laughs> so, there's the animation again. Obviously, we're not needing all this power at the moment, but we've got the capacity to do so, but we can slow it down. So all I would do to slow this down is I would basically move you over to one and I would just pause this pipeline. And that will basically shut these two off, which means just these ones will be all capacity. We're just going to make sure we don't, as we cool down, we might be producing too much capacity, but we're good. So we're ready to go. So that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen and folk. We are done on this episode. Our goal was to get the nuclear plant up and running, and we have done so. And we will continue with the expansion. So we now have enough. This will produce six megawatts through one line. So we've actually moving this plan up to two times. We can produce, turn on the second line, and then we can produce a third line. We can then, as we expand our lane, because we're using our land, sorry, because we're dumping our excess uh, dirt or slag and all that stuff around here, we will be able to expand this. So we can reset this up any way we want. It's quite tidy, it's not messy, obviously this allows me to keep expanding, especially if you've got in the full version or the early access we might have um, pipes level 3, so we could basically just use the one pipeline, or we can definitely cross over more pipelines as required. I now have enough room to produce, put down two more plants, so basically this will become a massive, massive, uh, basically a nuclear site for our power which will then phase completely this out, which would mean our reliance on oil will be minute because at the moment we're at our capacity with oil. There's no more on the land that we can get. Even on the off side, well, there's none on land. We ran out of that long ago, but we have a hell of a lot of oil rigs, but we don't need them. A few and just storing some oil, but it'll help to go to the next phase. So we're done. We're done. We're done and dusted. Next episode, we're going to obviously make sure we've got the capacity in our uh, power. And then we're going to upgrade to Arc Furnaces 2 on all of this. All right. So thank you again. And we'll finish off looking at our beautifully new and shiny, sparkling nuclear power plant. Thank you everyone again and I will see you on the other side.